Hey guys, this week I try and button up a bit more of the interior. Alright, well first thing this week is um, I need to finish up where I left off last week and uh, these pads have not been velcroed in and I need a leather strip at the front of this seat here. So. Um, Let's get some Velcro pads in place and um, start sorting things out. Alright, so the Velcro strips are all glued into the seat base. So now I need to go through and sew on the corresponding bits to the back of the cushions. are done the velcro is sewn into the back of them so that's all sorted out for now so the next step is I need to put a leather strip across this front edge of the seat here because this is seen these bits don't cover over it so um, a little strip of leather on there and then this seat is done all right so after what I started with which was an absolute mess. Now I actually have a seat that I'm quite happy to um, put into my car. So um, it's all done, the front edge is done, the cushions are done, it's Velcroed in. All right, now I've got to work out what I'm going to do next. All right, so now I need to work my way around and trim these top black panels which I haven't touched yet. I'll start with these two panels and what I'd like on these is um, I could just flat wrap them in the black vinyl, just basically redoing them like they are right now. But um, I'd like them to look a little bit more special, so uh, I'm thinking I'm going to add a seam along this edge with double stitching in the purple along here um, through the black vinyl. So let's start measuring them up. I just can't let this go Every last chance I had is gone All right, I have my piece of double stitched vinyl here. It looks really nice. I need to run it over the top of this piece here. The issue that I have is that because of this cut off on the end of this piece, when I try and wrap the vinyl over the top, it buckles somewhere. There's excess material. So there's a couple of ways I could do it. I could cut open the stitching and actually bring the two ends together and tuck them around that corner. The other way, because I've already done the double stitching and I didn't know exactly where to put everything, I'm thinking the other way to do it is I can actually take a scrap piece of vinyl and make another panel for this end and then sew it on around that edge and um, join it up. And it should, hopefully, be exactly what the doctor ordered. But I just can't let you I've got my panel, I've got my end double stitched on as well, so uh, now I need to glue it onto the piece and hope it all comes out the way I want it to. Alright, well I'm not happy with that. As you can see here, the, uh, the double stitching looks good. I mean, I haven't got it perfectly in the right spot, but I've sewn this on slightly around the wrong spot and it just doesn't fit, doesn't work, doesn't look good. So uh, I'm gonna go back and try the other method of actually cutting the seam through the end here and see if I can pinch things a bit closer and see if it works better on round two. At least it's only in vinyl, which is not as expensive as the, uh, the leather. You know. So this is covered quite nicely, but I am far from happy with the double stitching. It's not straight, it's, it's wonky. This method works well around this end. I've got a crease in here and the uh, double stitching flows over the corner of the edge here. So what I'm gonna do, I've marked out this far end as well because this needs a little bit of uh, pinching as well. So I'm gonna take this all off 
use this as a pattern and then this pattern can then be used to make the proper pieces sew it right and hopefully it'll all be done finally properly two covers two armrests and still nothing's done properly my two door panels all done and sorted. I would like them to be a little bit better but um, I think in the end they're pretty good. I've also mounted in the rubber surround for the door locking mechanism into both both of these. The only uh, little quirk is that there is a big kink on one of these. There's a kink here on this one. It's inside the door frame. It's still visible. I think we'll just call that my signature. Let's put these in the car and the next step is to go through these are the trim panels on the rear. I'm just going to straight cover them in vinyl, so um, we'll cover them in and then we can start uh, buttoning up the inside. Wow. Alright, as you saw a couple of weeks ago, I made this rear piece and some of these other panels in here. Actually, they're just sitting there, so I need to go around now and mount them in properly. This panel up here has a couple of uh, bolt holes up in the back here that I can actually bolt into. And also there's a couple of spots through here where there is a factory mounting spot where it was had a small screw going through there before. What I'm thinking is I might drill tap and, uh, and put some rib nuts in there. And I'm actually ordering a bunch of cup washers with countersunk Allen nuts on them so that I have a nice neat finish for all the interior bits to actually bolt it all into place. I'll go through now and uh, and mark these holes, cut them and hopefully I don't wreck this panel that I spent so long building. Alright so um, in the end I worked that the best way I could work out to line up uh, where I want to put my holes is I sat the piece exactly where I wanted it. I marked underneath with these pieces of tape. I put a, two pieces of tape with a line and use that to sort of help me triangulate where where it is and in the end I still just eyeballed it to get it right and uh, and mark the hole and hopefully if I cut a hole there that will uh, be the spot I need to line up all right so until my cup washers come in I'm just going to use this M5 nut and uh, washer here put them through this panel and then hopefully I can bolt this up and and just swap them out later Alright, so I've got the temporary bolts in place. Now I need to sort out these side panels and cut through the um, base for the seat belt. Let's do that. I've got the seat belt cut through this trim panel where I need it to, and um, I realised before I need to button everything up in this corner, I need to actually trim these uh, edge pieces here. So I've still got a couple of scraps of leather left. I'm getting pretty low. And uh, so I'll use these and I will trim over these panels here. All right, and my last job for today, hopefully to get it all done for this episode, is uh, I need to go around and just uh, blow in all of these orange pieces that are seen in the cabin, blow them in with some satin black. <laughs> That was probably not the best way of doing this. It would have been much easier to do this beforehand when everything was out or actually think about it far enough ahead to actually probably spray the entire interior in black instead of the headache that I went through going backwards and forwards doing it all in orange. Now it's time to put all the interior back in, put the roll cage in and um, yeah, see how it looks. Oh, 
Well, there we go. There's the seat. It's in. And uh, the interior is really starting to come together. It's actually starting to make a bit more sense. At least, I think it is. But either way, I think it's time for Fun Facts with Mrs. Jeff. Hi guys. Porsche vehicles have played a big part in Hollywood. For me, none more so than in the movie Bad Boys. Did you know that the particular model in that movie was the 964 3.6 Turbo? It was actually a really rare model and it was only produced for one year and less than 1500 were made in total. And that actually makes it one of the more valuable Porsches around today. That's it for another week. I just seem to do lots of fiddly little things this week. The little things really seem to soak up the time. So um, edging away, getting closer to getting the interior done. At least the back of the interior is mostly in now. So um, I'm really happy with that. As always, please like and subscribe to my channel, Home Built by Jeff. And you can follow me at Facebook and Instagram at the same place. See you guys. <laughs> Do you like my, my mm. double yeah, stitch nice on here? <laughs> it's just the stitching, isn't it? I love it. I love the contrast of the stitching of the blankets. Alright, now we're trying to get out. I'm just going to wait for you to come and get me.